wherever you're watching from please subscribe to this channel today we'll be talking about fixing of sound card to your system so taking audio to your system you need to take it through a sound card as a, you need to connect a sound card to your system either a mixer or in any form we wish your mic will enter into your microphone enter into and send the audio to your system either for music for voiceover or for any form of audio you want to take into your system today we'll be teaching you i'll be teaching you on how you can connect uh, your sound card to uh, your system for audio recording Most of you on cubase how you can record with your sound card on cubase today we'll be using this uh, sound card for today's teaching that is a sound card uh, that is a V8 but we are using V8 today for our teaching today and don't forget to subscribe because that is the most important thing please subscribe subscribe now before we commence so because when we finish we'll be so excited and you won't remember to subscribe subscribe now no, you need USB cable, uh, three USB cable minimum. With jack plug end. Most most of the time, it comes with the sound card. So you need a USB cable, a uh, two point zero. We have two point zero USB cable. Uh, in in my area, they call it data cable. Well, it's a cable that can process data. So. Let's go and let's see how it's going to be. And your microphone has to be on standby as well so that you can get it right. So your sound card has uh, all these features. It is in live one. Live one. So that will go to earphone on your on your uh, that will go on f earphone that will go on earphone and from the computer also we'll be bringing out audio so they are company they are company instruments goes to microphone Set the set. So after the headset is connected, the next thing is the condenser mic, but not completely ready until our uh, uh, USB plug in. So when we plug in the 2.0 USB cable, it's going to serve two purposes. Is going to charge the sound card also drive the sound card to the system because there are, there are software that come with the sound card and it's also uh, rechargeable that charges your sound card and also also drive the sound card the next thing to do now is to power our sound card You press it down till okay so this light indicate that it's power up and this sound card has a bluetooth so through bluetooth you can connect it to your system to so anything so it has bluetooth also so now it's powered and so now this is mic so depend on how loud you want your mic to be so i always like to put it in three o'clock uh, this indicate this is three o'clock so i always like to put my mic in three o'clock this echo depends on how you want it so this is monitor for your headphone so to enjoy the headphone uh, this is a uh, music so you also need to put this one probably to the volume to level you want maybe for 12 o'clock or three o'clock 
as you want it. Uh, this one is monitor. This one most sometimes boom and it's boom, so you can just adjust it. So this one based treble, so that depends on your choice. So from here, let's go now to Cubase, which is the main. So let's go to new setup, new song. Let's create new project, new project. Here you don't need to replace your name. See, let's click. So we'll still lecture on this another time. For now, we are talking about recording on the. Uh, so I'm sending my audio there. See. So before you bring out anything here, you have to go and connect your sound first to confirm if your sound is in there. So what we we'll do first is we'll go to device device go to f4 so vst connection or press f4 in your system so here right now you see output is on stereo output is on stereo out so input it's also stereo out so you have to delete this you right click on it you remove it remove then you had again when you had you had mono so because you is good to bring audio in in mono form though because it's good to bring audio in in mono form so that you can do anything with the editing or manipulate it the way you wanted uh or like stereo though some people like bringing audio in in stereo but audio, uh, mono is mostly the best so you're okay so now it's on mono you see you have mono and this is fl studio fl studio issue so first of all before anything you go to device from device you go to device setup down device setup from device setup you go here click on this space click here so that any driver that, that is on your system or anything is going to bring it here so release driver when application is background then you go here to change yeah there are some sound card that when you install them the name will automatically like come here but in case of v8 doesn't come here it work with your uh fruity loops uh studio sound so you can just choose uh fruity loop which is, which i already have because if you choose this and switch your audio will still come in but if your audio comes in here it will not send audio out back to your sound card and you'll be hearing yourself while, while singing or saying anything on your system, you still be hearing yourself, which is not good. So for you to hear through headphone and other audio will not disturb you. So it's better you go for FL, FL Studio issue. So with that now, I will switch. You click apply and you click OK. So from there now you go back to device again and go to VST connection. VST connection. So then you do this from here, you close. Then you right click and hard audio track. And you hard audio track. Make it mono. Mono. Depend on how many tracks you want. So then you click OK. So now we have a track here which you can record on. So what we are doing today is sound recording how to connect your sound card on your system, on your computer, in order to record on your uh, computer or to record in order to record on your Cubase without audio obstruction or without audio disturbing you or that any other thing obstructing you so here now 
as you can see as i've connected everything and now you're on the track check check here now here's the sound of the mic you can see the mic is coming in here right now so hello 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 can you hear me as you can see now yeah you can see the audio so that is the that is the audio movement that shows that your sound is coming in through the through the mic through the sound card you are getting here okay let's just do something here right now let me just record something so i go back here so this is already on red so this is already on red then i go here to click on record and you see it is coming in yeah let us sing, let us sing, let us sing, let us dance, let us sing, let us sing, let us sing, let us dance. Oh, 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 let us sing, let us sing, let us sing, let us dance, let us sing, let us sing, let us sing, let us dance. Yeah, you can see the wave. Can you see the wave right now? The wave is moving. So depend on how you're recording then. So as you're going, then you can just stop. Yeah. So let's play it now. Let's hear it. Let's hear what we play. Mm, Abby, let's play what we recorded. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Oh, sorry, you can't hear that because I uh the uh the sound has not been connected to that so let me let me disconnect this okay now now that we've recorded so let's play what we've recorded and see yeah let us sing let us sing let us sing let us dance you can let see now sing, this uh sing, sing, check here dance. the audio oh, okay so the way it's playing now So, yeah, you can see the wave. Yeah, we have that already. So this is where we'll be stopping for this. Now that you see how you can connect your sound card and bring audio to your system or to your uh, audio recording device. So we are good for today. Please subscribe. And next time uh, we'll be going on how to record on QBS if you're a first timer or and also we'll be doing uh, Fruity Loops uh, FL Studio. So now that we have this, so next time we'll be talking about how to record on Cubase, if you're a first time on Cubase. Also we'll be talking about uh, how to make beats on FL Studio. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be here to respond to your comment at any point in time. So, Cutting out right now, I still remain Adiyemi Emmanuel from Nigeria.